So what is meant meant by this? Remember our S of T generally is complex valued. Yeah, so so this means that that we can draw this in a in the complex plane here, our symbol S. So that's our complex plane here. And we can say this is the real part and this is here the imaginary part. And then we can place our our symbols into this here. Yeah? So for example, let's say this is S0 and this means that um, so the real and the imaginary part are one. Yeah, so this this would would give us here something like one comma one. And um, then we've got here, let's say this is our symbol S S one. And the symbol and the symbol S one here has a negative real value. So we've got minus one one for example. And so on and so on. And so and so with that we can describe this here in the um, complex plane, and um, and a diagram like this one here is called constellation diagram. It's a very convenient way of um, describing how symbols are transmitted.